swamping the Congress. Under your leadership, I think as many as 15 MLAs left. So is it not a question mark on your, under your, on your leadership? There's no denying the fact so many MLAs left. And there's no denying the fact that so many of them was to come back as on today. So I think uh, Baroni and Witness, all of our witness, we don't want to tell their names. See, they left the Congress. Example, I'll give you an example. 12 MLAs left the Congress and joined TMC. Tell me how many of them remained in the TMC and joined UDP, joined NPP, joined other party. So why should they reflect on me? To, to, in the Congress, when they left, they said because of Pala. But when they left the TMC, because of what? Because of whom? At the same time, five of them left the Congress. They said, they may say because of Pala, but some of them joined the other party, rejoined our party. Example, one uh, MLA joined three parties in a year. So whom they will blame? So it is, uh, I think it's not proper for them. I think the only thing is that Congress in opposition, they think that they will not serve the personal interest. So we are here not to serve the personal interest. We are here to work. Like I told you, our intention is to work for the interest of the people, not our personal interest. All of us, at one point or the other, we might have got, you know, the offer, we might have got the, uh, the temptations that come and join us, we'll help these, we'll get, we'll give you jobs, we will give you roads, we will give, but we think that, you know, if we lost, if we lost our, uh, our ideology, if we lost our ethics, we lost everything in politics. So same thing, all these people, today they are with TMC, tomorrow with the UDP, day after with the BJP, what have with them? Nothing left with them. This well, is what we think. Well, Mapala, don't you think that you are the most unpopular uh, MPCC president in Meghalaya? During whose time, every time, uh, uh, whoever gets elected, they leave the party. Uh, uh, well, I cannot judge myself for myself by myself. I think the history will see. But only thing I can promise you, I don't, I don't surrender. Many of the, I've seen in, uh, he will witness, in Arun Rizal, when they lost, they resigned. The party totally collapsed. But I, I don't surrender. Whether the people leave or not, whether I lost or not, I will not surrender. I work for the party. As of today, you see, most of the workers are with, with, with the Congress and with me. So I don't surrender. It's not that I want to be a president. In charge is here. If he, I told him in Delhi, you asked him, I told him when I lost. I said, I should get up. He said, no, nothing doing, you have done well. We uh, had two seats in Mekhalaya, we lost one, we managed to win one. So all the in charge, all the uh, uh, in Delhi, they rather congratulated me. We got the seats from uh, NPP after 47 years. So, and we didn't, when I lost also, you know, it is not unceremoniously. We won, I think, if you see entire Mekhalaya, we got the highest uh, in terms of vote share. So how can you say that I'm the most unpopular? So I cannot judge myself or myself, but I still consider that I try to work honestly, I try to work hard without selling myself, without, uh, you know, uh, surrendering to the uh, rich, famous and very powerful people. Sir, one last question. I, I, will, I will step in here on the organization questions. Um, you will see the Congress with a lot of faces who are active, passionate, and to be serving the people of Meghalaya in the coming days ahead. And despite all what your questions on the MDC and the local handling of it, from a larger perspective, what I can tell you is that we will have, or we intend and we believe that we will have a significant presence in the MDC elections here on fighting for the people of Meghalaya. Because as what he has said, all our decisions on many of the political matters are keeping the people of Meghalaya's interest at the forefront. We have differ differing views on the subject. And that is what, you know, we are not running away from uh, our internal discussions or internal meetings on the matter. And, you know, the matter is being discussed uh, heavily internally and appropriate decisions, you know, will be made. But the interest of the people of Meghalaya will be at the forefront while making the decisions. And we will perform extremely and exceptionally well in the NBC elections in come February 2020.